All right, pull up a chair, gather around. It's time to discuss a very important topic. This is one of the foundational keys to long-term success in the arts. I'm talking about how you prioritize your art or how art, your creativity, your talents, working on it or playing with it, how does it fit into your life? Are you in hobby mode? Are you in professional mode or something else altogether? That's the topic of discussion on this episode of The Creative Entrepreneur, Season 2, Episode 9. Hello there. Welcome to The Creative Entrepreneur. This is Bob Baker. I'm so glad that you tuned in. Got some cool stuff I want to share with you on this episode. In case I haven't mentioned it in the last couple of episodes, that opening song, which I will play a little bit more of at the end of the episode, is actually an original song that my significant other, Pookie, and I uh, featured on an album of original music that we released earlier this year. She uh, primarily wrote and sung that one, which is called Wake Up. The album is called Opening Up to the Good. It's filled with eight tracks of immensely positive, uplifting music that ranges from pop and rock and soul and everything in between. So if you'd like to hear more tracks from that album, you can go to soulmassagemusic.com, like Soul Massage, M-A-S-S-A-G-E, music, all one word, dot com, and then click on the album cover that says Opening Up to the Good, and you can actually stream all eight of those songs online. You can purchase a download or purchase an album or whatever strikes your fancy once you're there. At the end of this episode, I'm going to tell you about two really awesome offerings that you can take advantage of. One of them is called the Empowered Artist Bundle, which will allow you to get a paperback copy of my a new book called The Empowered Artist shipped to you uh, with free shipping, mind you, to practically anywhere in the world. It also comes with uh, the full audiobook version of the DIY Career Manifesto, which is another title of mine. You'll also get the digital ebook version of Unleash the Artist Within and access to my $99 course, 30 Ways to Become an Empowered Artist artist, all of that stuff for only $25 US dollars. Uh, wherever you live in the world. And so, uh, yeah, I'll give you the URL for that at the end of the episode. But instead of plugging all those things now, I want to get right to the heart of this matter and uh, share with you something I, I, that I have uh, done in the last couple of workshops that I've done. I did one in Santa Fe and one in my hometown of St. Louis, Missouri. And I was talking about the topic of making your art a priority in your life. And how a lot of creative people simply just don't do that. And so I was thinking of different ways to get that point across. And it occurred to me, you know, I have a section of the book of the Empowered Artist that pretty much states it as clearly as any way that I can think of. So I just figured I would just read it to these people who were attending the workshop. And both times I got really positive, amazing, surprising feedback on it. So I'd like to read you that section uh, right now. This is called Prioritize Your Art, and uh, here's how it goes. I may embellish along the way, but for the most part, I'll be reading from the chapter. Here we go. Think about the things you actually got done today or yesterday or over the past week. While I'm sure your list includes some spontaneous activities, I'm guessing most of the things you accomplished were planned. If you had a doctor's appointment, got the oil changed in your car, met a friend for coffee, or picked up the kids from school, most likely you knew about it ahead of time and planned your schedule around these events. And that's as it should be. Sadly, most people who claim they want to do more with their creativity take a very different approach. Painting, writing, rehearsing, and designing are relegated to a fantasy land category referred to as when I have time to get around to it. Sorry, but that's not going to earn you empowered artist status. Your art is important, isn't it? Then why not give it the prominence it deserves? If you're a parent, imagine your nine-year-old daughter saying, can you give me a ride home after soccer practice tonight? Would your reply be, well, I'll try to bring you home tonight if I can get around to it. 
Or how would you respond to a friend you haven't seen in years who is asking to meet for lunch on Thursday? Would you say, well, let's see how things go that day. If I feel inspired to do it, I'll show up. Of course, you wouldn't do that. Your child's needs and safety are too precious. Your relationship with your friend is too important to treat so frivolously. You honor those commitments with the respect they deserve. So why not treat your creative activities with the same level of significance? The main reason your art doesn't get enough attention is because it is usually worked in around other things. You get to it only after the important tasks are completed and only if you have the energy and the inspiration left to devote to it. Cultivating your gifts are given second or third class status on your to-do list. Empowered artists give creative time the same priority as car maintenance, doctor visits, home repairs, and obligations to friends and family members. You know how important your art is. Give it the red carpet, first-class treatment it deserves. Now, that's where I stopped reading in the live workshops. However, there's a uh, call to action at the end of this section I'm going to share with you. In fact, there are 45 total principles in the Empowered Artist book, and every one of them ends with a call to action. So this is the call to action for this one. The best way to make sure your creative time gets attention is to put it on the calendar. If you don't have specific times etched out during your week to devote to your craft, it will rarely happen on its own. So look at the calendar and think about your average week. When could you carve out some time for your creativity? Could you get up a little earlier on certain mornings? Could you squeeze in time on certain afternoons or evenings? What about Saturday morning or Sunday night? Determine the best times to work on your art. Put those blocks of time, no matter how short or long they are, on your weekly calendar. And don't just pencil them in. Write them in indelible ink. Then treat them with the same respect and commitment you give to all of your other obligations. Because developing your talent is damn important. And that ends today's reading from the Empowered Artist. So, I hopefully that got the point across. Seriously, consider this. Where does your art, where does spending time on your craft, where does it fit into your life currently? What sort of priority level do you give it? Is it relegated to that when I can get around to it, to working it around other things? Or is it something that you work on every day? Of course, every person listening to this is going to have a different answer. There's some of you that are just considering going into a creative field or, you know, you're in hobby mode and that's cool and you're considering jumping in. Perhaps you're already fully activated, either doing it on a serious part-time basis. Maybe you're already full-time and you're spending plenty of time on your craft. But still, I want you to think about that and answer that question. And if you're actively engaged in your craft, are you allowing yourself time to experiment and play and develop new techniques and new directions? That can also be a drawback of someone who's doing this full time. Maybe they got into a certain mode and a lot of people are purchasing a certain style, a certain style of writing or style of song or painting or whatever. And you may be getting a little creatively stifled by doing just that. So carve out some time to play and to experiment with new things, new ways of creating that thing that you do. However, I think most people listening to this are probably in the category of not having that regular time. It's sort of a dream. Again, this fantasy land thing of when I get around to it or when I get this project done or when the kids are back in school or after the holidays or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Stop making excuses and start making your art a priority. It is important. You are important. It's not self-serving in a way that is... uh, not keeping the needs of others in mind because you being fully expressive and fully creative does serve the world. It does help other people. And so know that and give your art the priority it deserves. All right. So like I mentioned at the top of the show, just to remind you of two quick things that I think you would enjoy. If you liked that reading, that little sample from the Empowered Artist book, and you would like to have your own copy, especially if you'd like to have the print copy, which I personally enjoy still (laughs) holding paper books, um, you can get that with the new Empowered Artist bundle. I just started offering this like a week or so ago, and like nearly 100 people have taken me up on it all over the world. It's just really cool to have these books shipped out to several different countries. 
So again, you can get the paperback book. I'll ship it to you. No extra charge, no matter where you are in the world. Maybe if you're in Antarctica or something, I may have trouble shipping to you. I don't know. But for the most part, I think I can get it to you. And you'll also get immediate download access to a 98-minute audiobook of the DIY Career Manifesto, the digital ebook version of Unleash the Artist Within, and access to my online video course called Nine I'm sorry, called 30 Ways to Become an Empowered Artist. It's normally a $99 retail value, but you get it for no extra charge. All of that, that whole bundle, 25 bucks US, no extra for shipping. So jump on this while you can. So to get to that page with that special offer, one thing you can look in the show notes and I'll have a direct link to that uh, page. Otherwise, you can go to empartist.com. Just think of the first three letters of the word empowered, empartist.com. Scroll down just a little bit until you see the uh, image and the reference to the Empowered Artist book. Click that and it'll take you right to that page where you can get that special bundled offer. Thanks for listening to The Creative Entrepreneur. Remember, prioritize your art because you're worth it. It's worth it. The world is waiting for you to share your gifts. So don't let them down. This is Bob Baker saying thanks for listening and so long for now.